Hi, I'm Jackie from ieltjackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a line graph essay. We'll begin with the five-step process I recommend for planning and writing academic task one essays. First, analyse the question. Second, identify the main features. Third, write an introduction. Fourth, write an overview. And fifth, write the detailed paragraphs. I'm going to take you through the whole process step by step as we work on a practice question. Many students are reluctant to spend time on steps one and two, as they want to spend as much of the 20 minutes allowed for the essay as possible actually writing it. However, it's essential that you do them, as they're the key to writing a high scoring essay. Before we start, Here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for academic task one questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph one is the introduction. Paragraph two is the overview. And paragraph three, you should write about the first main feature. And paragraph four, you should write about the second main feature of the graph. Now that we have all the tools we need, we're ready to begin planning and writing our essay. Here's our practice question. The graph below shows radio and television audiences throughout the day in 1992. Summarize the information by selecting reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task one question is the same. Here is our practice question again with the words that will be included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of sentence one, which is a brief description of the graphic, sentence two, which is the instructions, and the graphic itself, be it a chart, graph, table, etc. Sentence two tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. One, select the main features. Two, write about the main features and three, compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. The graphic in line graph questions should not be difficult to interpret. Each question has been created to test your language skills, not your mathematics ability. All you're looking for are the main features and these will usually be the easiest things to spot. There'll be lots of information in the graphic to help you identify them. Here are some useful questions to ask. What information do the two axes give? What are the units of measurement? What are the time periods? What can you learn from the title and any labels? What's the most obvious trend? And are there any notable similarities? I give more detail on how to use these questions, plus downloadable checklists for identifying the main features of all seven different types of academic task one questions in the lesson on how to understand and analyse task one questions. You'll find a link to this in the notes below this video. So what main features stand out in our practice graphic? Here's our line graph again. The timeline will give you the biggest clues as to the significant trends. Look for general trends. The two main features or trends in this line graph are main feature one, the peak time for TV audiences is in the evening, 8 p.m. And main feature two, the peak time for radio audiences is in the morning, 8 a.m. The general trends you select will be the starting point for your essay. You will then go on to add more detail. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task one and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include many details. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four part structure we're going to use. Paragraph one is the introduction. Paragraph two, the overview. Paragraph three, the first main feature and paragraph four, the second main feature. First, the introduction. There isn't room to include the graphic on each slide, but if you want to refer to it as we work through the four paragraphs, bring up the line graph lesson on my website, ieltjackie.com, 
where you'll be able to see it. There's a link in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question. That is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, here's the question again. The graph below shows radio and TV audiences throughout the day in 1992. And the introduction. The line graph illustrates the proportion of people in the UK who watch TV and listen to the radio over 24 hours from October to December 1992. And that's all you need to do for the introduction. In the second paragraph, you should report the main features you see in the graph giving only general information. The detail comes later in the essay. You should also make any clear comparisons you spot. This is where we write about the general trends. And here are the ones we picked out earlier. Main feature one was the peak time for TV audiences is in the evening at 8 p.m. And main feature two was the peak time for radio audiences is in the morning at 8 a.m. Now form these ideas into two or three sentences, with a total of around 40 words. State the information simply, using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structures are required, just the appropriate words and correct verb tenses. For example, Overall, a significantly greater percentage of the TV audience watched in the evening, while radio had the most listeners in the morning. Over the course of each day and night, more people watch TV than listen to the radio. Paragraphs 3 and 4 are where you include more detailed information about the data in the graphic. In paragraph 3, you should give evidence to support your first key feature. And don't forget to make comparisons where relevant. Here's our first main feature again. Main feature 1. The peak time for TV audiences is in the evening at 8 p.m. And this is an example of what you could write. Less than 10% of people watch TV between 1 a.m. and 12 noon. But at 4 p.m. this figure increased rapidly, reaching a peak of almost half the population at 8 p.m. After this, the graph records a sharp decline in viewers, reaching a low of only a tiny percentage by 3 a.m. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your second key feature. Our second main feature is, the peak time for radio audiences is in the morning at 8am. And here's an example of what you could write. Radio, on the other hand, shows a very different trend. The most popular time for listeners to be tuned in was just after 8am, when around 27 of the population was listening. After a brief peak, the numbers dropped steadily to barely 2%, apart from fluctuations at around 4pm and 10.30pm. The percentage of listeners remained low overnight, before beginning a rapid ascent from 6am to the 8am high. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. Pause the video and read through it so that you can hear how the four paragraphs flow from one to the other. This sample line graph essay is well over the minimum limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. That's why it's essential to select just a couple of main features to write about. Now use what you've learnt in this lesson to practice answering other line graph questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.